Welcome to the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico School of Optometry. I'm Dr. Iris Cabello, Dean of Students Affairs. I would like you to join us on a simple adventure throughout the facilities and the student life. Thank you. The School of Optometry of the Inter-American University in Puerto Rico has been providing excellent education and services for 30 years. The bilingual nature of the School of Optometry places this optometry program in a unique educational position. Examinations, texts, and patient records are in English. Most of the lectures are also in English language. Spanish language skills are necessary for clinical service in the third and fourth year program. Its student body represents more than 25 states and countries of the world creating an international, multi-ethnic environment. Students are able to practice in hospitals and external clinical rotations throughout the United States. To the moment, the School of Optometry is the only school that holds an annual convention. The students, ranging from first to fourth year get a chance to bond while attending different activities, exhibits, dinners, dancing and beach games. As a student of our School of Optometry you have the opportunity to treat patients of all ages in our clinics. You'll meet colleagues from different cultures, languages and beliefs. Learn the Spanish language to serve your patients, also know more about Puerto Rico. Visit our satellites clinics in the process of rotation. Through years of study you will see and learn about various diseases that affect vision and also do community work. In the pediatrics clinic. You can start seeing patients as young as 6 months old, till 18 years old. Also learning to manage patients with different special needs such as strabismus, ADHD, autism, binocular vision problems among other needs. In clinic, you will learn to do and interpret specialized exams like visual field, use the Optimap, that takes pictures of the retina, and evaluate the optic nerve, macula and the corneal topography. The center of access to information, known as K, formerly known as the library, is on the first floor of the school building. It is a complementary unit that integrates educational resources in different formats, the necessary equipment and the physical installations for their use. It supports the academic research and clinical programs of the School of Optometry. They have 18 computers available to students with password and access to the web catalog the internet and other online databases like Ovid, which has 41 e-books and 29 online journal titles related to the vision science discipline. Related to vision, all of the museum items are under custody of the guy. The collection, includes old and rare materials and equipment that hold bibliographical value, or are difficult to obtain. Some of them, have been in our collection since its origin, or have been donated through the years, for their historical value. Behind the School of Optometry building, is the University Housing. There are three walk-up style buildings of four bedrooms each. They are completely furnished with security system, and access control. Our students become professionals prepared to serve the needs of all patients, but most especially, the growing Hispanic population in the continental United States. For more information contact us, at, admissions. 787-765-1915, extension 1020. Um, the reason I chose to attend Inter-American School of Optometry, I would say is probably the fact that I never got to study abroad during undergrad when I was in college. I always wanted to live in another country never had the opportunity. Then I did my research when I was applying to schools and I saw Inter-American and I said, this is it, perfect. I'll be living in another country, I'll learn how to speak Spanish, and I'll get to, to live the dream of uh, living in another country. And I also saw that it had a great um, uh, clinical aspect as well. You know, seeing a lot of different pathology and a lot of different things that I wouldn't get a chance to see if I were to attend uh, one of the schools in the, the United States. Okay, so what do we do with our free time here at school? Well, one of the really good things about coming to school in Puerto Rico is the fact that you're in an island in the middle of the Caribbean. So there's a lot of stuff to do. 
Um, we don't have a lot of free time, but with the free time that we do get, um, there's always the beach, which is really close from school. Uh, we have Oyunque, which is a natural forest here in Puerto Rico. You can do surfing, you can do um, slip lining, you can go to like small islands, you can go visit um, Old San Juan, which is a really, really old city, like a Spanish city here in Puerto Rico. It's really famous. So there's a lot of stuff to do, so just come and, and check it out. This is really, really, really awesome. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I uh, came to Puerto Rico, which is a Caribbean island. Um, uh, and it's also part of the, U the U.S. territory. Uh, coming here is a new experience. Um, you have, your, you have uh, so many different cultures coming here to learn about the Hispanic culture, um, le uh, to learn about the food, and all that brings, brings a lot of people together on the island. Um, here, in, here in Puerto Rico, we use, we use very similar stuff as the states. Um, we have uh, full technology, computer uses, internet, uh, have Starbucks. <laughs> Uh, here at the School of Optometry, we have the, the up, uh, an updated technology um, with an OCT machine, um, with the HRT machine. Um, we have the all of the equipments are updated. Um, uh, they're kept well, well, they're well maintained. And I'm very glad I took this uh, opportunity to uh, come aboard and to come to Puerto Rico to learn about the culture, to learn about the language, uh, to meet the locals, and to enjoy the school here. Hi, I'm a third year student, I'm from Toronto, and I'm going to be talking to you about how often I use Spanish. So coming from Toronto, I don't know a single word of Spanish, maybe hola, but I, we learn Spanish during our first year, and then our classes are in English, our exams are in English, but you go into uh, screenings with students and you deal with patients in Spanish. So you do pick up on your Spanish between first year, second year, third year. And then you also do learn Spanish when you go out. You know, you go to the movies, you're using your Spanish. You go to the grocery store, you're using your Spanish. So you pick it up as you go here and there and you'll realize that it's not that hard to learn. So it's pretty, pretty good, pretty useful. And if you come up bilingual, it's all the more benefit to be in the program. Aprendes Español, so come here and learn it. Invention is a great time. <laughs> Actually, okay, it's um, basically, it's our annual meeting where we get all the students from school and one of the great things about Puerto Rico is it's the Caribbean. We're on an island. We're filled, it's surrounded by beautiful resorts. So we take advantage of that and we send all of our students to one of the resorts and uh, we have a different representatives from different countries come. We have different lecturers come from different organizations, and basically we have extravagant dinners, we have meetings, you know, we have exhibit tables, and then uh, we have our beach games. And our beach games is a competition between the different classes where we compete for the beach games cup. And uh, let's just say it's a great, it's a good time, it's a chance for all the students to kind of relax, and it's a reward for all their hard work, basically.